Escape from Tarkov is not an easy game to learn. I've bought this game around 3 years ago and played like 3 wipes, not even hitting level 20 before uninstalling the game. I always wanted to get back into it, because the game itself is fun, but I only have the memories of me running around, filling up my backpack, only to lose everything I found to some guy who has played this game since release. I think it's time to try to change those memories. I want to show you, from a beginner's perspective, how I filled up my stash, got tasks done, and actually won some gunfights and learning things along the way. To all the other beginners, you are not alone. This is my beginner's journey to a somewhat more confident beginner. So, with this new wipe, one of the new things that got added is a new location, Ground Zero. And with the new starter tasks, everybody is basically forced to start your first race over there. It's always a challenge to learn a new location in Tarkov, but luckily, this one isn't really that big. And with this map on my second screen, I could find my way around. So, let's check the buildings, because I do know the grenade launcher or um, the machine gun is in a window. I just don't want to step on a mine. No. Oh, and this is Moonlight. He has more hours in Tarkov than I do, but he hasn't played in a long time as well. I'm gonna check real quick this. There's a dead sky. Oh! I just... Quest over here. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Dead guy here. So what's the plan now? Um, let's stick to the size actually. Yeah. Oh, scared, watch out. That's a toss. Where is he? Did you kill him? I see him. Nice. Oh, the way he dropped, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yep, inside. Oh, it's a scout. Yeah. No loot. <laughs> nope, it, it just says that. Oh, I hear a guy. Two guys. Coming. In front. Oh, it's scabs, I think. I'm dead. Nope, I'm dead. One dead, one dead. It was to be expected to die on a first raid. After all, dying in Tarkov is part of the game. You even get welcomed by Tarkov when you die for the first time. I'm dead. I'm almost dead. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? It's a claymore. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. I just started looting every little thing that I could find. I really didn't care about valuables or any other expensive items. I just wanted to fill up my backpack and find the exit. I made my way to one of the extracts, only to realize that the Emercom exit is actually on the other side of the map. This sucks, I think my exits aren't even on this side. But on my way over there, I stumbled upon the car extract, which I used to get out safely. <gasps> There's a car. There's a car. It was time for a scav run. I really like scaving because there isn't really any pressure on losing your gear when you die. And it's also a good way to learn a new map. Or any map actually. This is a big hallway. There was a scav shooting someone. Yep, over here. There's a guy. I'm pretty sure. He killed this guy. Yeah, watch out, watch out. Yep, in front. You dead? I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I see him. Good one. I have to watch out. There's another one. Nice one. My god. 
That was my first gunfight. I was happy that I won that, but I couldn't celebrate just yet. I was still panicking a little bit and I needed to heal up, loot and extract. Nah, next raid is mine. I'm not gonna die. It was going well for me. I even got a task done. But for Moonlight, it wasn't really going the way he wanted to. He died every raid so far. I was just lucky, I guess. I'm actually enjoying Tarkov now. Crazy. Because I didn't die, that's it. <laughs> it's bound to happen. We're gonna get out both of us right now, right? Oh, of course, man. We need to get out both, or at least you. If I die, it's fine. Uh, my, my time has come. <laughs> no, I, I know my, my mistakes, and I try to not do that again, but I do it again. I... <laughs> <laughs> um... What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing, man. So where are we? A big weapon box. Oh my. That's Terra. What kind of armor do you have? I have back. Yeah, take this. Okay, thank you. I'll wear the other one then. No way. We just walked out of the ground. <laughs> no way you did that. <laughs> did, it fall, did it fall under the ground? No, it's gone. Alright. Sorry, man. No, no, that's good. Oh god! <coughs> I hit him once. I don't see him. Push back. If it's possible. Yep. Pushing back. I need to heal. I'm covering you. My thorax is broken. Did I just... No way. No way, I just want that gun. Pushing a bit. I see the blood stain on the wall over there, a little one. <gasps> I no want way. that gun. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> that's good. That's just lucky as fuck, man, I'm not gonna lie. After that insanely lucky shot, we pretty much looted around, killed some scavs and extracted. And Moonlight even survived as well, even after that little bump in the beginning. The next raid went pretty much the same, looting, shooting and back to the stash. But we still didn't find the machine gun or the grenade launcher for our task. So we went in as scavs and we finally found the machine gun. Now all we had to do is load in as a PMC and complete that part of the task. Easy, right? Well, it's kinda hard when other players are trying to do the same thing. On a Christmas ball. Oh, in hideout you can trade them for good stuff. Huh. Just watch out in front of us. Oh, me too. Yeah, me too. Oh, damn. I tried. No. There's more. At this point, I was quite panicking since I was on my own this time. I decided to wait for him to make a move. Wow! Damn bitch! Well, he sounded quite happy that he killed me. But that's okay, getting killed are just mistakes that you need to learn from. Editing this video makes me see the things that I didn't see at those moments. Like I could have thrown a grenade or even started pushing him when he breached the door instead of opening it. 
In the next raid, I found myself in the very same situation, only I was not the one on the stairs. Upstairs. Yep. I have an MDR on my body. You will die, man. You will die. I swear. On God, you die. On God, you die. Lol. <coughs> <coughs> My God, he hit me up badly. It was time to do one of the last tasks on Ground Zero. We already found the bodies of the PMCs and the lab scientist. Moonlight already found the key we needed to get into the office. All we needed to do was to enter the office, grab the hard drive and get out safely. Checking your left. Unlocking. Nice. There should be a hard drive on the desk. Does it say that? Yes. Found it. Oh, hopefully you can grab it too, man. It's right here. Where? Yeah, yeah. that's a task item, so I okay, can grab it both. We just have to get out now. Coming. Someone's coming. I'll let them come in first. They're gonna open the door, and then he's gonna run in, and then we can kill them. I'm gonna shoot for legs. I have an angle on the legs. I can hear him. Coming he's up. He's here. coming up, he's coming up. Two. Two. One's dead. One's hit. Watch out, I'm gonna throw a nade. I have a good angle. Reloading. He backed up a bit. Yeah, we went to the left side. He's coming, he's coming. Two other guys, two other guys. Yep. I have a crazy angle. They don't see me. But I can only shoot legs. Nice. He's gonna come outside. They're coming up. They killed someone in there? One's dead, one's dead. They don't know we're in here. Big, big fight. Yeah. Yep, yep. He's coming. I can shoot him. Can I, should I shoot him? Yeah. Dead. After this, we get the hell out. Taking the hallway, this side. Wanna check the whole hallway? 
Let's meet each other at the other end. Yep. I'm here. Oh, there's so many PMCs. There's like five of them. Bro, there's so many bodies. We had some cleaning up to do. Now, some of you may think we were hiding or acting like rats that whole fight, but there wasn't really any point in blowing our cover while five PMCs are fighting each other in those hallways. We just waited for the perfect moment. We had a couple of good raids in a row now, and I was starting to fill up my stash nicely. Moonlight decided to take a break, and he was right because we did play for some time now. But I haven't been into a raid solo yet, so I thought this would be a good time. Fuck! Fuck's sake! I suck at this game. Oh man, I don't understand. Fuck's sake. I think it's time for me to take a break as well. When I bought Tarkov a couple of years ago, I bought the Edge of Darkness edition. And because of this, I got the Arena version for free. Now while I took a little break from the real Tarkov, I started playing some Arena. Not to grind my rank or anything, but to practice. Get into more gunfights, get a feel for the different kinds of weapons, and get used to the movement and healing as well. I think this is a great way to get yourself into the real deal. I know it's not exactly the same like in Tarkov, but for me, it helps. How is he not dead? I'm there, gotta kill. Oh, I got one. Another one. Not a one. I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty rough for someone new like me in the arena, but it feels nice not to worry about dying. It makes me play more confident and less scared. This is a feeling that I should bring into actual raids in Tarkov. After a while, I noticed some improvement. I moved around better, I peaked better angles, got better at controlling recoil, and actually got some kills. <coughs> Okay, back to the real Tarkov. I still had a bunch of tasks that I needed to do, but before I actually tried to complete them, I wanted to survive some raids with a nicely loaded backpack. For the next couple of raids, I focused on running ground zero. It's a nice small location, and I didn't need the map anymore on my second screen, because I've ran this map a dozen of times now. Bro, there's a whole family of scabs in there. Am 
my weapon jam and I didn't notice. I thought I just had to reload. Weapon issue, now I noticed. I had no idea how to unjam it, so I had to look it up in the settings. Turns out, I didn't have my keybind set. If this was a fight against another PMC, I would be dead. So, make sure your keybinds are set correctly before you go into a raid. Alright, I'm, I'm okay again. Here's you. Is someone dead? One. The fuck? He's dead. The fuck was he doing there? There's another one. Yeah, yeah. Hit him a bunch. Me too. Nice, you got him. He's dead. It was going well today, I was surviving most of the raids, got my backpack filled up like I wanted to, and I was leveling up nicely with all these scav kills. Now I didn't have much business left in ground zero, I had to focus more on customs now. Ah, customs. This is the place that I remember dying the most. You can find all kinds of players here, from new players to total chats. There's a good amount of tasks that need to be done here, and I'm sure we are not the only ones trying to do those. You wanna, you wanna go into crack house? We can try it. I mostly go second floor, so... Uh, you can go second, I can go first. Okay. Oh, yep. Was that you? Yeah, yeah, someone on first floor. I'm gonna throw a nade in there, watch out. Okay. Open up the back door. Coming downstairs. Okay. I'm gonna be. I killed him. I killed one. I'm on the stairs. I'm on the stairs. I'm first floor as well, at the end of the hallway. Okay. I'm healing. There's nobody on second floor. There is one coming on first floor. Kill them. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm in a toilet healing. Okay. I was feeling somewhat more comfortable having gunfights now, and I wasn't really panicking like in the beginning. It's nice to see some improvement. Now let's finish up this task. You're in the toilet, right? I'm in a toilet, yeah. I thought it was you at first, man. Bro, I thought that that was you in front of me that I killed. <laughs> this guy had some... something. But not much. After that raid, things just kept on getting better. We ran customs back to back to get those tasks done. We were both feeling good that day in Tarkov and that really helped with our performance. Watch out, 
somebody on the first floor. Player in front. Yeah, yeah, I'm killing him. Reloading. They killed him. Nice. Like I said, things were going great. We survived a bunch of raids in a row now, but dying is part of Tarkov, so sooner or later we would run into some trouble. Someone's right behind this wall, I think. Yep, in front. I'm alive, somehow. Well then, there's another one. I can't help you. <laughs> you killed one, right? I killed one. Where's the second one? Um, over there as well. Shot him twice in his head, he's not dead. I need to heal in the crack house man. I'm dead. Yeah, I killed three. You can come get your desk. I'm oh, watching. Oh, death, death, death. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> How? Honestly, we cannot really complain about dying a couple of times in the end. We had such a good winning streak, finished a couple of tasks and made some profit along the way. Woods was the next location that we had some tasks to do. Let's see if we can get those done. I needed to kill 15 scavs, which isn't that difficult to do. I was solo this raid, so I wanted to challenge myself a bit more. Instead of only filling up my backpack and running straight to the extract like in the beginning, I still wanted to fill up my backpack but also work on killing those scavs. Блять, верца, щеми! 
Oh my god, bro. Eventually, Moonlight came back and we continued going into the woods. We needed to stash some items in both of the bunkers, which went without problems. And once we did that, we went hunting for scabs, which didn't take long because they were basically coming to us. Two scabs. Killed one. Is there another one? There's another one. Yeah, kill one. Oh no, it didn't kill them. Killed one. Right Killed side. One. Right side. Yep, see him. Reloading. I'm dead. He just one shot at me. And with that last task completed, it was time to go, before I got myself killed as well. I've never seen so many scavs in one place before. I guess we got lucky. Or at least I got lucky. Moonlight died again. Sorry, Moonlight. Welcome to woods. Welcome to woods, he says. While I was editing this video, I did some scav runs, and most of them ended up being great runs. I think I said it in the beginning of this video, I really like running as a scav. There's no risk of losing any gear when you die. Apart from the gear you found, of course. But I noticed something. All of the good gear that I found during these scav raids, they were just collecting dust in my stash. I didn't want to lose these weapons, so I just didn't use them. That feeling is called gear fear, and I needed to snap out of it. And the only way to do that is, ironically enough, don't care about losing it. Just run with it. It's okay if you die. You'll find more weapons along the way. Spawn in front. Yep, I know. Nice. Yeah, it's up there. One dead. I'm dead. He's he's so Backpack. I have to get out of here, man. Escape from Tarkov has been a roller coaster of emotions for me. I've had lots of moments of joy when extracting with a lot of gear or just simply completing a task that I've been trying to do for a while. But also the absolute frustration that I got from dying over and over. But in the end, it was worth it. I really enjoyed playing Tarkov and I'm glad that I can say that I'm not a complete beginner anymore. This game isn't supposed to be easy, so I'm happy that I got help from a friend along the way and that I could share this experience with you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.